my new car. We're in Drewby's car. So today we are going to be doing a car tour for you guys. But right now we are in the line at Starbucks to get some coffee. And we wanted to show you guys how we order our low point coffee before we get started with the tour. Oh, wait. Oh, no big deal. Just give me a second. And then all the people on my Instagram, I was like, I got a window on my roof. And people were like, it's called a sunroof. I'm going to call it a window roof. Look at my window roof. Look, we got a window roof. <laughs> but I am so excited to show you guys what I got, all the details about my car, Lulu, and we're about to order our Starbucks. We're ordering Starbucks, guys. I'm probably going to get some of your coffee. So usually we do protein coffee, but this is our two oh, point okay, coffee. For you. Hi, can I get two venti iced coffees with light cream and like a bunch of sugar free vanilla? Alright, did you want to do like 15 pumps? Sure. <laughs> Alright, and you said two of them the same way? Anything? Yes, ma'am. And then can I get two equals and caramel drizzle, please? Two equals and caramel drizzle, yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Anything else? No, thank you. Okay, 834. Thank, thank you. you. Baby, did you just get 15 pumps of sugar? Did I just get 15 pumps of sugar free vanilla? Baby, I think that's a little too much sugar-free vanilla. You might need to tell her that you never mind on that. No, I'm not saying never mind. So usually we get the, the um, what is it? The iced two shots with, get in the video. I'm in the video. Usually we get like the iced two shots with uh, sugar-free vanilla and we put a protein in it. But then for days where we don't feel like bringing our own protein, we get the, you get an iced coffee with light, uh, light cream for two points and then whatever flavor you want in it. And we got 15 pumps of vanilla. We've never done that before. Hey, what? 15 pumps of vanilla. That's a lot. <laughs> we'll let you know. I, I feel like I'm going to be drinking straight vanilla syrup. We'll let you know. I'll probably love it. I'll you probably will. You probably will. You get points when it comes up that much? Is it zero points with... You know what? Zero points to me, zero points to you. We're That's bad. right. Okay. So this is what it looks like. They kind of put more than light cream, which is fine. I like the extra, but we're counting it for two points. Two points. Okay, ready? I'm scared, love. Oh, look, they changed the, the sippy cup. Ready, go. That's so good. I'm, I'm trying to get a flavor. It's good. A little artificial. Frick, I didn't think I was going to like it, but now I like it. But now it's I'm going to be going through the line. We have 15 pumps of uh, sugar vanilla, and they're going to be like, who is this fan? Yum. That's good. I'm not gonna lie, I like this better actually. You know why? I hate thick coffee and, and the, it's light. Cream. It's it's very light. Like yeah. it's very um th it's thinner. It's a lot thinner. Yeah. So I feel like it won't hurt your tummy as much. Because mm -mm. it's not dense. Mm. Okay, I don't think I'll go and be like, can I get 15 pumps of vanilla? But I'd probably do like 10. Honestly, I usually do like six or eight. But now we're gonna go tour my cat! Tour the cat! Did you get this in there? What? You got this straw in there? Mm-hmm. How'd you do that? Magic. Oh, man. G and D here today. I'm D. I'm G. And today is the We're sitting in Lulu. Long awaited thing I think we've ever talked about on this channel. I think since the beginning, all we've ever talked about was me buying my first car. Yes. I think it's always been mentioned in our videos. It and has. so it's like a, such a surreal moment. Is that a thing? Yeah. It's like it's just like a moment like I thought would never happen so soon it at felt, my it, age. It, it felt so far away. Right. But we knew it was getting close. Right. But before we get into the tour, I just wanted to start off the video by saying thank you to my parents for allowing me to save money. I know a lot of kids my age, because I'm 18, a lot of kids have to, you know, pay their own bills and do things like that. So I'm thankful that I had the parents that I had that they allowed me to save money and you know were there for me and stuff like that and mm -hmm. then also thank you Jesus for you know being amazing I feel like everything always happens in in a way that you know he planned out because like it literally happened I bought this car on my lunch break like how does that even happen I bought it in an hour so like and cash money paid in full like how it happened and with the person that it happened like it was just it was amazing thing it was a perfect I know um, that it was a God thing um I'm just very thankful like like the fact that I, Drew Emma, saved money. Can you believe I saved money? That's what I'm trying to figure like out. But actually an amount of money. Like I can't believe I saved money. But how did she save money? I don't know. But we got our Starbucks and we're just going to do... A car tour. The most bougie car tour of your life. Drew wants to show off her car and kind of show you guys what, what, what little gadgets and the little gizmos. Well, I'll tell them what it is. Okay, so it's 2013 Mercedes um, C250. It's a coupe. It's a coupe, so it's the two-door. It's a coupe, yeah, so it's two-door, super sporty, super cute. Her name is Lulu. Um, 
we I mean we're gonna we bought a bunch of stuff to put inside of it but since it's it's not coming until Sunday mm -hmm. but it's fine we're still gonna do the car tour and then I'm still gonna we'll, link and we'll, everything and we're, we're gonna show you guys once it comes in what it looks I'm like. also gonna be linking down below my favorite air freshener it's the Tyler candle company diva there's also the high maintenance one this one's called diva if you want to smell like your bougie.com you need to buy this <laughs> hey every time we go into those little boutiques that sell that she stocks up she like, loves it. If you want to be bougie.com, buy this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Show your shirt. Okay, my shirt says Leopard and Lewis. I mean, I had to wear it for the tour. <laughs> okay, you ready? It's a cute shirt. Let's I'm ready. Get into this. Let's get into the tour. Bucky's. Bucky's. Um, the sun is really bright, so I apologize, but let's get an inside view. Inside view, guys. So let me take, I'll take yeah, over. Yeah, you take over, man. All right, so, so when you come in, it has like the dark brown interior. It has some, we're gonna get some new like cover stickers because there's a, like just these two buttons have a little bit scratched it off. It's a two door. So whenever you want to get in the back, you just press this. But look, it all it moves. moves forward by itself. And then it actually has a lot of room in the back. Um, I do want to fix the tint. I don't like that it's brown back there, but they, my man says don't fix place. it. But look, y'all, we have the, what's it called? The moonroof at the top. Yeah, it's, got a moon, it's got a moon roof. I like how the automatically seat moves. I do too. I like that. So it has the brown, the silver, it has black details. Um, we do want to get some new stickers to go over this because these two buttons have a little bit of like scratch off, which is fine because it is a 2013. Um, when you come in the car, let me get in. Yeah, get in the car. When you come in, it just has a regular screen. It's not touchscreen or anything, but you just use this to navigate what you're doing. Tell them about the knob you're getting for it. Oh, and then on Amazon, I'll insert a picture. I'm getting a bedazzled knob to put on it. And then what? I had a bug on my face. Okay. Um, so the wheel is brown, which mm. I wanted it to be black, but me and Gabe were trying to figure out how we can like change it. But it's super cute. I'm like really obsessed with it. Oh, tell them about your, um, your seat here. Oh yeah, look. So the one thing about Mercedes that I think is really cool is that the way you can like move your seat up and down is it like it shows you like a seat? Yeah, it looks like a seat and then everything is automatic. You push this down, the seat goes down, you know, automatic. And then she can actually set uh, the drivers yeah. of her car. So when she gets in, she can hit a button yeah. and it'll all the mirrors and the seats will adjust to that person's settings, which I think yeah. is really cool. We got two cup holders. We got all the buttons. I have Bluetooth so I can talk on the phone. Um, what else does it have? You, when you open this thingy up, it has like a little compartment with my charger. Of course, my charger is pink. I know I've already showed this, but you guys, this is the best. I kind of wanted to talk about something too. Okay, go ahead. I'm not trying to interrupt. One of the things I love the most about this car, which I was kind of skeptical about when we first went to go. Oh yeah, the car. show them how you fit Look, in it. So let me, me get out and show. Them. At cars, he I didn't fit in a Jeep. I'm a big guy. He didn't Look, even fit in a Jeep. Look, I can stretch my legs all the way. Let me come around. Yeah, come around, come show. Look at her booty. The way I fit in this car is actually crazy. Like, leg room in other cars, and even bigger vehicles, I was like this. My legs like, in like a Jeep? You didn't fit in the Jeep Compass. I look like this. But the way the seat, the, the floor goes all the way out, I can, I have full leg room, and the seat is so comfortable. Like, is so this car, like, I was actually skeptical as well, because I was like, it's kind of small, but it's so but it's comfy. Roomy. It is so roomy. And I sat in the back seat yesterday when I was detailing the inside of Drew's car, and it was perfect. So this is going to be our vacation video car. If yeah. You stay tuned for those videos. Yes. Her is so cute. A Jeep Compass, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. What is it? Yeah, it was a Grand Cherokee. And then, or a Mercedes. Well, obviously, picked the Mercedes. She picked the bougie and one. So I have these. I got these off Amazon. I'll be. I'll link them down below for you guys. They're literally, literally. Yeah. Literally the best things ever. Literally. That's funny, baby. Um, I also tell them about it. They're actually they look plastic. They're actually metal. So yeah, that's I think that's really cool. Really cool. And so she is so cute and so pretty. She got a bath yesterday, but we can do like an overview. Yeah. We've never done a car tour before, so we really don't down. know how to really do it. Um, but then if you, how do you open it without the key? Oh, oh, I got more mats. Yeah. So these are your hard mats. Um, we took them out to let the floor dry after the detail. 
Oh, okay. So that's up to you if you want to put them back in or not. No, I don't really like those. I like the other ones. We'll, we'll get rid of those. And then I got more glitter. Look how, oh my gosh, look at that. Move on, move the way. <gasps> look! Her's pretty. Her got a cute booty. Hey, me? No, the car. Oh. But look, I want to... It just fits so perfect. You, baby, look, look at the way you fit in this car. Look you literally cute. look perfect. Look, look. Sit your door, baby. Hey, guys. Let's go shopping. Let me go. Let me go shut the other door. Let me, show, show me your best zoomy zoomy. Okay, I'll show you my best zoomy zoomy. All right, let me show you zoomy zoom. All right, baby. I'm going to shut this door. You show me your zoomy zoom, babe. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, I am so proud of her. She has been saving for so long. She's invested so much uh, <clears throat> time and energy into uh, making sure she is saving her money when she really wanted to buy other things. So I am so proud of her for saving her money to be able to buy her first car. I'm so excited for her. Let's go buy, let's go buy a new purse. And I was thinking, if you buy a new car, you need a new purse to put in the front seat. Hey, what about me? Where am I going to sit? The back seat. Yeah, be. My new car, my new purse, my new car, you in the back seat. Bam. Starbucks in the cup holder. Baby. I'm joking. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Oh, also, get in, get in, get in. Okay, so oh, Dave me... got me a new little key fob holder. So this is the version that I have. There's like a few different ones, but this is the one I have. Um, everyone's always like, where'd you get your keychain stuff? So the D is from, oh, it's like this. The Cheetah D is from Hobby Lobby. I'll try to link it. I don't know if we can link stuff from Hobby Lobby. Do they have it online? Maybe. Maybe uh, but usually was, their stuff's limited, so. Yeah, this is a refurbished Louis keychain. I got this from. Um, it was a Winnie Trade Days, right? Winnie Trade Days, yeah. So like, it's like a little farmer's market thing that they yeah. have. It was like 40 bucks. It was really cute. Um, every time my parents, um, it was not 80 bucks. Sure. Whenever, every time my parents go out of town, they always get me like a new keychain because the biggest joke always was Drew wanted a car. And so they would always give me a keychain for my car being funny and sarcastic. And so finally, my favorite one they ever got me, it says Drama Queen on it. And that was from, from Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Jo Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I have the car, I have the thing on it. And then also, Amanda Evolving talks about, you know, being a girl and in the world and all that and how you need to protect yourself. So a while back, Gabe got me one of these and I was like, how perfect is it that I could put on a keychain? And then this is actually, I can link the Instagram shop. It's just, uh, I have my cards and stuff it's in cute. there. But it's really cute. It comes in handy when you just want to run to Target real quick. <laughs> That's the thing, uh, Drew, Drew goes from anywhere from carrying a big purse to small. some uh, the small uh, crossbodies to just a little keychain purse well yeah okay so here's the moonroof so this is the thing that covers it there it is so let's so back. that goes back and forth and then you've got the um i'm, I'm gonna show you so how do you do it yeah we're still getting used to using all the buttons okay look look oh bougie gree bougie gree bougie gree bougie gree and then bothered me was that on my instagram so many people came at me they were like it's not called a window roof well, guess what it's a window roof. i mean it is a window on your roof so i mean you can't really like argue that and we're being kind of playful and silly and stuff like i know a car is a big deal like i know like mm -hmm. all the stuff um a lot of people are like so what are you saving for next and i think i'm just gonna save money just to save because we are 18 and we do have plans to, to get married and buy a house and all that. So I think at this point, I'm just going to keep saving like I normally was. And then um, if, you know, I need to do maintenance, if I need to buy a new purse. I mean, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> um, no, wait, I wanted to say something. I think this was also, obviously it was a big compliment, man, but I think it was very smart to uh, pay cash for vehicles. We contemplated just using your uh, money you had as a large down payment on a something else. So I'm actually very happy we did just pay, or you paid cash for this. Wait, yeah. Because when we do plan on getting married in the near future, 
Um, no, no, that's, no car note. Th no car notes, because my truck is paid off and her car is paid off. Yeah, but this was like a long time coming. I've been saving since I was 12. Ever since I started babysitting, um, my mom would always say, you save half, you give 10% to Jesus, and then the rest is for whatever you want it to be for. Mm -hmm. And so I used to think, like, how horrible. Here, you want to hold it? Yeah, I'll agree I used there. to think that it was horrible. I was like, why would she make me save? No, I want you to be in it with me. Oh, I'll be in it with you. I was like, why is she making me save money? And now at 18 years old, I'm like, wow. Like, if I only would have listened to her and saved more than what. Because sometimes I'd be like, yeah, I saved. And I didn't. And like, yeah. I wish, like, how much more money would I have if, you know. You like, have more in the bank. Not that money's important or anything, but it's just like. Well, I don't think. Okay, so me and Drew aren't materialistic. I know. It, sometimes it may seem like work but i mean she likes well, mercedes I mean, like there's something wrong with liking louis vuitton there's nothing long, wrong with liking there's nice nothing things. no and that's that's what i want to get into real quick some people like to judge based on what people do well here's the thing me and drew both like the finer things in life we don't uh put materialistic things over um god jesus family yeah, no. anything that me and you are not materialistic people but we do enjoy nice things right and there's nothing wrong then there's with nothing that. wrong with that and i was talking to some people on instagram and i was like i'm I, I told them i was like i didn't really want to tell people and they were like why would you not want to tell someone you bought a dang mercedes at 18 years old and i was like well because people you know yeah. i just got my mom called so i don't remember where we got cut off at but i just wanted to say that my two main goals for 2020 was to get my goal weight which i hit my goal weight and then also to buy my first car and i did my birthday is in literally a week Wait, two weeks? Uh, because the first a little a week and a half. A week and a half. I'll be turning nineteen, and so it was like I told my mom. I said, by nineteen, I'm gonna have my first car. I'm gonna do it. And she was like, they were like, oh, okay, like you know, Drew, you you don't like to save. You like to you know, you like to play. You like to spend money. And I was like, nope, mom. When I turn nineteen, I'm buying my first car. And what you do? We did. Guys. And never in a million years did I think that it'd be this nice. It was a total God thing. It just it, it was, happened. It was so It, it was, was so it awesome. was a total God thing. Um the way the way it all happened, like Drew was saying, it kind of just fell into our lap so unexpectedly. Like I woke up one morning from work and Gabe was like, Hey, so and so, blah blah blah. And I was like, Okay, we'll get more information. And then literally two days later at work on my lunch break, I called my bank. We would go to the bank, we take her the cash, and then here it's I am car. a day later and it's mine. Exactly. It, it was so, it, like, and the reason me and Drew say it's a God thing is we like to give Jesus credit for everything because it yeah, is. Yeah, everything, like, yeah, go ahead. Because, um, uh, really, the way everything has worked lately has really been all God. Everything's kind of just falling into place the way it needs to be. And I think more people need to just look at things like, okay, I saw, like, I saw this post. I'm not trying to rant, but I saw this post that was like, um, oh, I'm sorry. I always look off. But I, I saw this post one time that was basically saying, like, um, Think of, like those people. Oh, it was about 9 11. Can I talk about this real quick? Yeah. I'm not going to be long. It was about 9 11, and, and, which was a terrible tragedy. And people were saying, uh, one guy, and it was truth. They, they mentioned their names. I don't remember, but it was saying basically one guy was late to work because he got a stay on his shirt. So he ran back inside of his house to go get a new shirt and had to get dry clean. He was late to work by like 30, 45 minutes. One person, you know, had to get donuts for everybody. It was their turn to buy donuts for the office. They were late. And it was talking about how they were late, but it was in turn a blessing because their lives were spared. Because they were late. Because they were late, they didn't get, you know, killed on 9-11. And I know that's a big comparison, but you put that into aspect of everything in life and you look at things and, yeah, sometimes you're running late in the morning. Sometimes things happen for a reason. Sometimes you blow a tire on the side of the highway. Sometimes misfortunes it happen. In the end, it always happens in a way that blesses you. And, and it, yeah, Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to get to. You got to look at everything as a blessing. Even when times look tough, especially with COVID-19, especially with the way the world's going right now with a lot of different things. It, and it's a very big point in, in, in world history right yeah. now. Uh, it is very important to look at things with a positive attitude and be optimistic right. because, um, guys, we're all brothers and sisters. You know, we all we all are here for the same reason. We're all here to uh, serve God and we're all here to witness the others. That's what we're here for and to love each other. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important to do that. Now, how does that fit into the car tour? I don't know. But I don't even up. know. We're talking about my car, Lulu, over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I just thought some people needed to hear that. But yeah, um, I never thought in a million years my first car would be a Mercedes, but here we are. Guys, and I just want to, I'll just, go ahead, babe. But the thing is, I, I was totally expecting like, the day before Gabe told me about this car, I was totally... Here, you hold it. Yeah, I'm mean, like, you taking it from me. Well, because you're making it shake. There I was go. totally expecting to go to dealership on my birthday yep. and get something that I didn't want. And I thought to myself, I saved all this money and I'm going to get something I didn't want because 
a new 2020 even if it's like bottom of the line it's sometimes expensive. is expensive and so the fact that my first car just like popped in my lap and it was just i don't know it was just amazing yeah it, it was a good deal it, it came right. right on time it was it was literally the perfect and it was someone we knew so it, right. was, it all worked out perfect yeah but now let's do an overview of my car oh no <laughs> We know this wasn't your typical car tour. We kind of got emotional. We kind of got extra. We went on a little tangent, but. But I just want to say I'm proud of you. And I am proud of us. And I am so thankful for every one of you guys on here that support me and love me. I feel like out of, you know, out of my personal friends, I feel like people on here are more my friends than people face to face, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I feel like y'all support me and love us. And I'm just so thankful for that. And without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do a car tour. So. Duh. Thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're probably about to go get some breakfast. It is early. It's like 10 on a Saturday. But we're about to get some breakfast. And then Gabe's going to head to work. Oh! But we hope you guys enjoy. Um, we can't wait to show you what we do because I know we're going to change a few things. We're going to add some different stuff because Gabe's like, he's like a guy. You know, guys like to change the wheels and add all different crazy stuff. So we're probably going to do that. But we love y'all and... Guys, thank you so much for supporting us. Like Drew said, y'all are our friends. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for y'all's support. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody likes meeting Lulu. Drew's Lulu boo -boo. in the car. I can't wait to show you guys where she takes us because her, <laughs> her loves to drive. If you didn't know already, we call her a her. We talk about her like she's a person. She's a her. She's a her and she takes us all over the place. Um, her gonna take us shopping on my birthday. Oh, is she? Yeah, what guys, I'm turning 19 next week. God. Isn't that crazy? Like we met I don't we, know we why met, I'm about to cry. We met when we were 14. Isn't that crazy? Like, I've always thought about, like, you know, you want to be 18 and you turn 18 and now it's like, oh, I'm gonna be 19, I'm gonna be 20. It's like... Yeah. Are you crying? No. I'm about to cry. It's like we hit milestones because I know time flies by because it's like, we, I, I I remember like it was yesterday, me being like, I, are we drinking out of the same one? I think you're drinking out of mine. More for me. No, I'm playing. <laughs> but I, I remember thinking like, when I was like 14, 15, I was like, can't wait to turn 16, can't wait to turn 16, can't wait to turn, that's when my life's going to start. Ah. And then it's like, you're now you're 18 and you're like, oh. And I'm like, now I'm 18, I'm like, okay, that's great. And then... I mean, I'm excited to turn 21. Just, welcome to the end of the video. We already did this. Welcome to the end of the video. Woo-wee. Okay, I think we are, I don't, know, I don't know where we left off, but anyways, we love you guys. We can't wait to show you what all we do in life. We are so thankful for y'all. We are thankful for everybody that watches our videos, continues to support us, and just loves on us. We appreciate yep. all you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching all of our other videos, but as Always, if you're on this video right now, and I know there is people, okay, that you're not subscribed. Guys, what are you not subscribed? What? Baby, they're not subscribed. What? Why? That's crazy. Guys, it's free. It's free. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Show us some love. Drop a thumbs up on this video. Go thumbs up some of our other videos. And then uh, we're going to keep them coming, guys. We enjoy putting out content for you guys to sit and enjoy and watch with your families or when you're just chilling at work or whatever you're we're doing. We're just chilling, okay? So we appreciate you guys. And we love you, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Lulu says bye. Oh. Beep. Bye. Beep. Oh, she's hot. Last <laughs> minute, guys. but my favorite smells are going to be the Bridgewater Candle Company Sweet Grace. It's a room spray, but I sprayed it in my car because it just smells so good. And then where's the Tyler Company ones? I think it's in the back seat. Okay, well, I showed you all the Tyler Company things, but it makes your car smell so good. And I just wanted to show you how cute my car is. Okay. I love this, too, Mercedes-Benz. Boji.